The reason number one, what may cause the pain in your left hand is possibly that you are squeezing uh, your fingers from the opposite directions while you're playing. Go ahead and place your fingers in the first position um, on the A string and drop your thumb but relax it as well and see if you can get that uh, hanging of uh, the fingerboard feeling, right? So you're, you're just holding on to the fingerboard with your fingertips, okay? And your thumb is dropped and everything is relaxed. And then possibly try to play like this slowly without um, engaging your thumb in your playing. without thumb then you can add it and just again think about it have it light and and don't squish it because you don't have to maybe when you're playing chords right that that's when we're doing something because we're placing more than one finger and we want to squish it really nice so it's all projecting very well but when you're playing one note in a time your thumb is definitely needs to be relaxed the reason number two why you simply have a pain in this part of your hand is maybe the action of your cello. Maybe your bridge is too high, too tall, and strings are far away from your fingerboard, and it causes you to squeeze more uh, your fingers from the opposite directions, and like work hard, and maybe your technique is slower, like your fingers don't run that fast, just simply that your action is no good. That simply can be checked just uh, by local DT or take your cello and take it to the music shop and they are going to measure the distance of the fingerboard to the body and the distance between the strings and fingerboard and they can let you know if the bridge needs to be trimmed down or fingerboard needs to be uh, readjusted. That will be very helpful for your technique and just uh, the health of your muscles. And the reason number three, what we're going to talk today about is uh, getting the tension during vibrato. So the same thing, you just need to be careful with that and see if you're not applying too much pressure, right? Like working it so hard, you just need as, as little pressure just to make it enough. Uh, so it's the string is touches the fingerboard, right? And then it's spot. So the same thing, you can just relax and see how relaxed you can be while you're playing vibrato. It just, Basically, you're not, you're not thinking about the phrases right now. You're just kind of getting that feel and controlling that uh, your muscles are relaxed during uh, this technique. And also, again, you can check that hanging feel, right? So you're just hanging off the fingerboard and check the thumb as well. And you can do that too without your thumb. exercise what the, the kids doing and playing is like your um, top on your head and rub your belly right the check your hands want to do the same thing right so while playing the string instrument you have to watch like while your uh, right hand might be sometimes heavy like when we want to produce a deep tone right and put a lot of weight on the bow crescendo or forte so left hand still has to be like a lighter in weight right there's no need to overwork it so yeah make sure you separate that as well when you're playing so this can be forte still <laughs> But 
very fast techniques as well.